Getting your paper remarked is not an easy decision for a number of different reasons. So I'm going to go over should you get your paper remarked. There are various different things you need to consider. The different types of remark, how long they take, what they look at and how much they cost. And then what you can actually do if you are deciding to get your paper remarked. Now, the should you get your paper remarked is always a, a really emotive issue. Now, this is my personal opinion on this bit. If you need a higher grade to get onto the next part of the course, if your university course or your college course or your A-level place is dependent on you getting that higher grade, then in my opinion, you might as well try for that remark, especially if you're really, really close to the grade boundaries. Um, if you do not need that uh, higher mark, then in my personal opinion, I don't think you should go for a remark. I think you should just try and be happy with the grade that you've got. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because remarks are not simple, they are not cheap, and they are not stress-free. So let's have a look at the different types of remarks you can go to. Your teacher can um, ask to see your paper, see the marks on the paper online. So if um, you are drastically below where you or your teacher thinks that you should be, then they can ask to see your paper. They can ask your answers and the marks. And then some of the examples to do this for free, some of them will do it very quickly. Um, most of the time this doesn't happen very quickly. And what they do when they can see the papers online, your teachers, they can have a look at your answers, see if they agree with the marking. The other thing they can do is just quickly go through and add up the marks on the paper. Now this is where you might go for an admin remark when you, your teacher, the exam officer and go, can you actually just go through and manually add up the marks on the paper and check that all of the marks have been counted, that like the 10 mark question on that page didn't just get missed, because these things do happen. Now an admin remark, that's generally pretty quick, it's not going to be that expensive. The full remark with a whole paper gets sent back to a different examiner to be remarked is expensive and it does take time. Now, if you're applying for a university course, you can apply for a priority remark, which means they will get it done pretty quickly. But these things are not cheap. Depending on how many papers you get remarks, what level it is, um, and which exam board it is, the price is going to range between 15, potentially up to 70 pounds. So it is a lot. And there is no guarantee that your school will pay for it. If your school are happy that you got this grade, there is no incentive for them to pay for it. So you might have to pay for it yourself. Now, this is where I'm saying, if it's things like something like GCSE Maths and you've got a three and you need that four, otherwise you've got to reset it, or your place at medicine is dependent on you getting that A star, in my opinion, it's worth trying to find the money for that remark so that you can not have to reset maths from next year or get onto that university place. But it is a whole chunk of money. And with remarks, there is no guarantee that your grade will go up or your grade will go down. If your grade goes down, well, then your grade has gone down. There's no, you don't get to pick to keep the higher grade and your grade goes down, so it could get worse. If, however, they do find kind of like a big, big mistake in the paper, then there are certain circumstances where you can get the remark fee refunded. There are lots and lots of things for you to consider when we're talking about remarks. They are not quick fixes, they are not stress-free, and they are not cheap, but you need to talk to the people at home, you need to talk to the people at school, so your teachers and your exams officer. Um, but if you wanted a nine or an A star, um, but you don't need it to get onto the place for next year, and maybe you got a seven or you got a B or something, and you still managed to get onto a university place or that six one place, I'm just gonna ask you to just, just be happy with what you got, um, except where you got, um, I know potentially you're a little bit disappointed, but in my personal opinion, it's not necessarily worth going through the stress and the hassle of a remark. Um, I'm here for you, any questions you've got guys, just, let me know and I'll do my very best to answer them as quickly as possible. I'm here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I won't explain scratches.